big Kazakh, 15 stone 4, 24 years of age. And, uh, well, he's the guy who had the wonderful win. Side off, as you can see, won against uh, the Canadian, outclassed him. But Dil Debekov beat the unbeatable Ruble Kava <laughs> of Cuba. What a turn up for the books that was. Everyone in the crowd loved it. The six for eight Cuban brought to his knees on two occasions by Dilda Bekoff, who was incredibly crude but very effective. All he did was put his head down and bowl over an enormous right hand, and Rubel Carver didn't have a clue how to get out of the way. No, Rubel Carver gave him everything, tried to bully him out of it. For a minute or two, it looked like it might happen, but this tough nut from Kazakhstan came back and. Uh, well, it was a superhuman performance. Not pretty, but very effective. At this stage, most people who are not British are saying he's the favourite for the gold medal. Dilda Beckhoff. Well, I'm not too sure about that one, Simon. The problem with Ruble Carver, every single punch he threw, he tried to knock Dilda Beckhoff out with. And of course, as soon as Dilda Beckhoff ducked underneath them and then came up with that enormous ride of his, there was no answer from the Cuban, and it was just a terrible performance, I thought, from Rubel Carver, which may actually flattered Dilda Beckhoff, to be honest. Oh, that's nice work there from the Uzbek, but how on earth uh, Dilda Beckhoff got the points through, I have no idea. Well, it's not cynical. The judges have been pressing the wrong buzzers. It seems to me on a couple of occasions here, there's no political bias. They've just blatantly got it wrong. Anyway, back to the fight. And that was a good performance, um, beating the Canadian Art Banowski, um, outclassing, outclassing Banowski, who, to be fair, um, was probably in over his head anyway. Didn't look the, to be the best of Canadians that we've seen over Olympic competitions. That, of course, uh, belongs to Lennox Lewis, the great Canadian. Oh, sorry? <laughs> sorry, Brit, my apologies. Get alive. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Kazakhs turned it round, isn't he? 5-3 up. Don't ask me how. I won't. He's not a stylist, is he? He's not pretty to watch. But Dilda Bekov is a tough cookie, and he gets the job done his way. And uh, the crowd, of course, anticipating something huge here because W. Audley Harrison has been the heaviest supported boxer so far in every single day of these uh, games, and that includes the Australians. Yes, it was quite amazing. Suddenly it became uh, a sea of Brits who appeared, and they uh, will be making themselves felt shortly. You just can't see them arriving at the moment, but uh, I'm sure that's exactly what's going on. Remember, Audley Harrison is next up against... Paolo Vidos, but uh, some rather ungainly stuff in the opening round. <laughs> Huge draw going up. I sense it might be the result of a basketball match which has been happening earlier on. Yeah, the Australian women, of course, winning earlier against Brazil. Oops, well, they both ignore the referee here, these two. They can't hear so much applause from the audience about that result. They didn't hear the referee's instruction. He's not read too many coaching books, has he, Dilda Beckham? <laughs> Thank goodness. The day someone teaches this guy to box will be the day he starts to lose. But he's very good at what he does. Um, he's crude, he's strong, and he's game. Yes, there's no doubt Rubble Carver hit him with several brutal blows and they just bounced off him. That's right. <laughs> but, you know, we've said, haven't we, all along that these Kazakh stands, that these Kazakhs are incredibly tough men by their, uh, their very nature. And I'm sure there's an awful lot tougher than Dilda Bekov out there. Don't tell him that, though. <laughs> I'll tell him you said it. <laughs> <laughs> you would. very close a minute to go 8-7 to Dilda back off in the blue and uh, the quality is coming from the Uzbek but uh, not being reflected here on the scorecard suddenly Dilda back off goes to a three-point lead
and again doing what he did against Rubalcava, although not to, to the same degree of crudeness. He's an ox of a man. Dangerously near the borderline. Oh. And uh, side off. Vents his frustration. Well, a big miss there from Dilda back off scored. So at the halfway stage, the favourite from uh, Kazakhstan has that four-point advantage. Dildebekov, who uh, says that he will turn pro after these games, and uh, there'll be a lot of interest in him. <laughs> because where? <Yeah. laughs> well, all over the world. Yes, of course, being an Olympic medalist, um, and it looks like he's pretty certain to go on to get a silver here, minimum. Um, it says so much, of course, for a, a new professional, doesn't it? And he's got a crowd-pleasing style, hasn't he? Not, won't please the purists, but the crowds. It was kind of a rocky performance, wasn't it, Dilda Beckhoff against uh, Rubel Oh, and absolutely. Yeah, you couldn't have written that in a film script, could you? And not, not for anyone to believe, anyway. Halfway point, it's got to be said that uh, the better Rustam side off is four points behind here. He's a much neater boxer, but uh, so far, Dildebekov has got that, uh, well, it's cut down to three points, but um, I don't think side off's out of this one, Simon. Huge roar as Stildebekov unleashes. And the crowd getting a bit frustrated with the referee. And here is a monumental effort from this brutal man from Kazakhstan. Look at him unleashing here. Well, the gum shield there, offside off, knocked out. But he put it back himself without having it rinsed. Well, the referee there warning Dilda back off for slapping. And he did, he did a lot of that against uh, Rubel Carpa, of course, but got away with it every time. As he breaks every rule and defies logic to a certain degree. And sometimes he gets by just on raw strength. That's all he's got, isn't it, really? But he's got plenty of it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And it looks like we're going to be saying goodbye to Mr. Sidoff here. Um, eight points behind. Not looking good now for Rustam Sidoff. But he's wide open and races in so... so big, does Dildebekov. He's, he's vulnerable to a big blow. Side off has a puncher's chance. But of course, as we saw against Rubel Carba, those bombs from Rubel Carba landed on this uh, Dilda Beckhoff's face, and it didn't make much of a difference, did it, Simon? It didn't. And side off more a boxer than he is a puncher, but uh, he's going to need, need a knockout very shortly. Low blow there from Dilda Beckhoff. He doesn't care where they land, does he? No, he doesn't. He's raw. Very unpredictable, of course, as well, which means that the, the opponent can't read him at any point. Took a big, big right then, and just leant on side off, as if to say, that didn't hurt me at all. Well, public warning now against uh, Dodebekov. He wants to be very, very careful. He's slapping all night. And uh, he can find himself getting chucked out here. Oh, nice uppercut. So two points automatically for side off because of the public warning but um, I fear he's too far behind to turn this around on the point system big big round for the man from Kazakhstan 
and uh, Sidoff now needs a knockout. Sense that Sidoff needs a machine gun because uh, mere mortal weapons are not going to be enough against Tilda Beckoff. Good point. Some of the crushing action from round three. So final round. Muktakan Dildebekov of Kazakhstan well in front here against Rustem Sidov but is he gonna sit on his lead I don't think so no no way he's a very pugnacious character and uh, but having said that he's holding now uh, he's already got a public warning of course in the previous round for slapping and uh, he wants to watch it here And it's unthinkable that Sidoff could find the punch to put Dodebekov out of this one. Well, the corner's been thrown out now. Dodebekov's corner has gone. And so, <laughs> Sidoff. <laughs> well, they can have their own scrap. It'll be like a tag yes. fight. Yes. <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> You're on your own, boys. Well, they've got um, another corner man, of course. But they must leave the arena completely. Good shot from Sidoff. But he's running out of time now. He's got to land one big one to oh. finish it off. Oh, that was enormous. Oh, and again. Well, coming back strongly now here, Simon. But, Good effort. Uh, Still needs to knock him out. Oh, and again, a big right from Dilda back off. He's hard. He looks hard, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> He's taken some big shots here in this fourth round. Sidoff has had a good time. Oh. Sidoff, they're showing a very good chin. That was the best right hand, I think, the field of records have landed so far in this one. He's landed plenty of them. Yes. But that was a clean one. Both got good chins. Into the last half minute. And these two are oh. looking too low there, and a low shot as well. Is he going to get another public warning? He's not. I don't know what the referee's doing getting in between them. He's uh, ruining Sidov's momentum. And Dildebekov looks uh, nearly out on his feet. He can take punches, but he's, oh. he's nearly worn out. Then he took a big one there, didn't score nearly put him away and now he's going to hang on although he doesn't believe in hanging on and he's going to be all right but this has been a very good last round for Rustam Sidov almost ruined by the referee though Simon brutal fight but it's all over and uh, Muktakan Dilda Bekov has taken it Although Sidoff thinks he's won, waving his fist around in the air, thinks he's won it. Well, he's in for a rather ruinous surprise. It was close. Of course, means that Dilda Beckoff will face the winner of our next contest. Which is Paolo Vidos of Italy against a certain man from Harrow, Audley Harrison. Bronze medalist already, going for silver or gold tonight. Well, he will go for... Uh, a chance for silver or gold in two nights. A chance for the final. And our first finalist from Britain since 1968, Chris Finnegan. Dilda Beckhoff takes it. Mixed reception. A lot of the crowd think that side off one. And yeah, for me, I. I I scored it pretty even. Yeah, he was certainly the better boxer side off, but um, Dilda, Dilda Beckoff, the more effective of the two. Well, Dilda Beckoff it is who faces the winner of our next contest featuring Audrey Harrison and, of course, Paolo Vidos of Italy. 
Interesting to see how many Brits have made it through here to the exhi exhibition centre. I know a lot of our uh, commentators on Eurosport.